Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to take up another challenging question from radical equations. It is cube root of x plus 2 whole power 6 minus 28 equal to x times x plus 4. We have to find out real solutions. So let's get started with our straightforward substitution. As we can see, 2 is here. This is 0 and this is 4. So I will take the average mean value. So I will be writing here x plus 2 equal to a. So from here I can write x is equal to a minus 2. And I can write x plus 4. This will be a plus 2. Let's substitute. I will write cube root of x plus 2. So it is a power 6 minus 28. This is LHS. RHS will be a minus 2 times a plus 2. From difference of two squares, we can write a square minus 4. Now I will take all the term to RHS. So I can write a square minus 4 minus cube root a power 6 minus 28 equal to 0. Now I can take this minus into this cube root. So I will be writing a square minus 4 plus this will become cube root 28 minus a power 6 and RHS will be 0. Now I will use another substitution. Let us call this radicand equal to b power 6. So I will be writing, let me write it here, a square minus 4 plus cube root of 28 minus a power 6 equal to 0. Now let's consider 28 minus a power 6 equal to b power 6. So from this equation itself, I can write a power 6 plus b power 6. This will be equal to 28. This is our equation number 1. And once I will use our substitution, I will write our equation a square minus 4 plus cube root of b power 6 equal to 0. So I can write a square minus 4. This will give us b square. It is b power 6 whole power 1 by 3. Using exponent law, we can take the product in the powers. So it will become b square. Right hand side is 0. Or I can write a square plus b square equal to 4. This is our equation number 2. Now we have to solve this system where a power 6 plus b power 6 is 28. a square plus b square is equal to 4. So I will use another substitution. Let us consider a square is equal to m and b square is equal to n. So I can write our equation 1 and equation 2 as equation 1 will be m cube plus n cube equal to 28 as it is having power 6 and second equation I will write m plus n equal to 4. Let's solve this easy system for the value of m and n. Once m is known, a is known, a is known, x is known. Let me write here m cube plus n cube is 28 and m plus n is 4. So I will apply here a cube plus b cube formula. It will become m plus n in one bracket 
in other m square plus n square minus mn equal to 28. Here I will be plugging the value of m plus n 4. So let's put 4. And m square plus n square. We can write m plus n whole square. And then minus 2 mn. Then minus mn. RHS is 28. So I can cancel 4 and 28. So I will write here 1. I can write here 7. And m plus n is again 4. So I will be writing 4 square minus 3 mn equal to 7. So I will be writing here 3 mn will be 4 square minus 7. So I will write here 9. So from here we are getting mn equal to 3. Now our equation m plus n equal to 4 mn equal to 3. Let's solve. m plus n equal to 4 mn equal to 3. Let us frame one quadratic equation whose sum of roots and product of roots. Let's consider mn are the roots of quadratic equation. So I will write m square minus sum of roots times m plus product of roots equal to 0. So I will use method of factorization or I can use quadratic formula also. Let's apply quadratic formula minus b 4 plus minus under the root b square 16 minus 4ac so 12 divided by 2a 4 plus minus root 4 which will be 2 over 2 so I can write here 6 by 2 or I can write here 2 by 2 so m values what we are getting that is 3 and 1 now m was our substitution m was equal to a square so I will be writing here a square equal to 3 and 1. So from here a equal to plus minus root 3 and plus minus 1. Now what was a? a was our substitution. It was x plus 2. Let me write here a is equal to plus minus root 3 and plus minus 1. a was x plus 2 equal to plus minus root 3 and plus minus 1. Now I will take away 2 from both sides. So I will write x equal to minus 2 plus minus root 3 and minus 2 plus minus 1. So I will write here minus 2 plus root 3. Second with minus sign minus 2 minus root 3. Third minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1. Minus 2 minus 1 minus 3. So here we are having 4 real solutions. Let's verify all 4 values. So I will write here verification. And let us begin with minus 1, the easy most. So I will write here x is equal to negative 1. I will write cube root of negative 1 plus 2. So it will become 1 whole power 6 minus 28. Right hand side if I will plug in minus 1 and minus 1 plus 4, 3. So here I can write cube root of 1 minus 28. So minus 27. And right hand side is minus 3. So yes, it is cube root of minus 3 whole cube. Equal to minus 3. Now cube root and cube will be over. Minus 3 equal to minus 3. 
that means x equal to minus 1 is verified. Now let us cross check minus 3, the second solution, x equal to negative 3. So I will be writing LHS as cube root of negative 3 plus 2. So I will write here minus 1 whole power 6 minus 28. This is our LHS. RHS will be minus 3 times 1. Again I will write cube root of this is 1 minus 28. Right hand side is minus 3. So same way I will write minus 27. So minus 3 whole cube and cube root and cube I can cancel. It is matching with the RHS. So minus 3 equal to minus 3. True and verified solution. Now I will check the last two. So let me write here x is equal to root 3 minus 2 or minus 2 plus root 3. Okay, so LHS I will be writing cube root, root 3 minus 2 plus 2, so only root 3 is left, root 3 whole power 6, minus 28 and right hand side if I will write, then it will become root 3 minus 2 in one bracket and root 3 plus 2 in other bracket. Now root 3 times root 3 is 3, so it will become 27. Cube root of 27 minus 28 equal to a plus b, a minus b, so 3 minus 4. So I will write cube root of negative 1 equal to negative 1. So I can write cube root of negative 1 whole cube as radicant equal to negative 1. So cube root and power 3 I can cancel, minus 1 equal to minus 1, this is also verified. Now let us check the last solution, it will be x is equal to minus root 3 minus 2. Let us plug in, in LHS first, so I will write here cube root, plus 2 and minus 2 will be over, minus root 3 whole power 6 whole power is 6 minus 28 right hand side minus root 3 minus 2 and second bracket I will write minus root 3 plus 2 so LHS I will be writing cube root of this will be again 27 minus 28 so I am writing straight away minus 1 right hand side if I will take minus common from the first bracket then it is 2 plus root 3 second bracket is 2 minus root 3 here I will apply a square minus b square so this will become 4 minus 3 so 1 and left hand side cube root of minus 1 I can write minus 1 whole cube now cube root and power 3 we can cancel. So minus 1 equal to minus 1 verified. And this brings the end of this video. I hope you will like this video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.